Good evening and welcome to Cinematic Nation once again. Tonight we're going to be reviewing Barbie. Hey Barbie. Can I come to your house today? Sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. So fresh out of the theater, Barbie and Ken are having the time of their lives in, co in the colorful and seemingly perfect world of Barbie land. However, Barbie is suffering a crisis that lets her to question her own existence and when they get a chance to go to the real world, they soon discover the joys and perils of living among humans. This movie has Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling as the leading actors. It is directed and produced by Greta Gerwig with Margot Robbie serving as a producer as well. This movie is weird as hell, I can tell you that much. It worked for me because of the way it was made. The balance of comedy and the drama worked very good while some of the scenes were somewhat weird. It is a very pretty movie with lots of pink in it. The acting from both Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling were superb as usual. I don't agree though with some of the early reviews by critics that says that Ryan Gosling steals the movie in every scene. I think Margot Robbie did an outstanding job and her scenes uh, were really good as well and was easily the best thing in this movie without taking any credit from Ryan Gosling. It was good to see Will Ferrer back in a lesser role the way I always believe his comedy thrives the most. The movie tries to carry a more deeper message about self-discovery and self-esteem while trying to make you laugh and cry at the same time. For older people, it takes you to that era when the Barbie dolls were selling like crazy and every girl and boys, including myself, play with it with my sisters and neighbors. I have to say, they made a massive marketing with all the things that they show, the toys and all the reference that they made about the Barbie stuff that uh, you play with it in the era before. For me, this movie is going to be a one-time thing. Watching, watching it fell a little bit short of my expectations. It's definitely not for kids. The film also had a hefty budget of 145 million and it is anticipated to gross over 100 million between US and Canada by the end of the week. Take your asses to the movies, to the theaters, and go watch it, and tell me how it was. Until next time.